So before this video begins, I just wanna thank you for your support last video. You guys showed up in huge numbers to show that you guys still appreciated this type of content. And honestly, it just energizes me and encourages me more than you guys can ever imagine. There's so much that goes on outside of just me putting out these videos. Things that I deal with in my personal life for the certain views that I hold and the certain um, things that I've talked about on this channel, they do come back and bite me in the butt sometimes. And just to have a community of like-minded individuals out there in a space like this where we can all talk, bounce ideas off each other and still freely communicate with each other in a non-communist world, you know, that's getting more and more rare. So I just wanna thank you guys that have stuck with me since 2020 and just we've grown this thing over time and I still see the same faces, the same usernames in the comment section, liking the video, sharing this content, truly, truly humbles me and I'm just grateful for you guys. It really energizes me to keep going. So with that out of the way, I wanna talk about something that's super duper important to understand, especially as you get older. Now, the psychologist Carl Jung talks about the shadow self. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of Carl Jung, and he talks about this shadow self, which is essentially the hidden dark characteristics or traits that each of us tries to mask but it's still hidden with inside of ourselves. So you can think of it as like when you're like a little kid and you don't have like a Halloween costume, maybe this is what I did, but you'll show up to a Halloween party or someone's door in a blanket and underneath that is just you, right? So you just tie that blanket over yourself or whatever and you look like a ghost and you show up and you present yourself. Now underneath that ghost costume is just like a little kid but on the outside, it looks like a ghost. You could say this about, you could talk about any costume, that, that's basically what it is. You're putting on this outside persona that covers you, makes you appear different to other people outside of yourself. But deep down inside, it's like, it's still that little kid that's probably afraid of the other costumes and characters, especially when you're like seven, eight, nine, ten years old walking around Halloween. You're, you're wearing a costume, but there's other scarier costumes and that's the outside projection that you're portraying to other people. That doesn't necessarily mean that you're fully bought in with what you're wearing. I hope that makes sense. You're still just the little kid putting on the persona of the ghost, but you can still be afraid. So I hope that makes sense. So the reason I'm bringing this up is because this is how we, for like most of our lives, go about our lives. If you think about it, like we present ourselves to our families in a certain way. We present ourselves to our friends in a certain way. We present ourselves to um, our grandparents even in a certain way. Uh, we have different, even within our family, different segments of people that we portray ourselves to. And more, most importantly, we present ourselves to ourselves a certain way. So the way we even talk to ourselves it doesn't really necessarily even show up until we're older. And this is what Carl Jung talks about as well, that the true shadow side that most people, you know, most people try to project, especially nowadays on social media, that there's this person they present themselves to be like on these different platforms when that necessarily isn't who they truly are. And we see more and more of this each and every day. I'm guilty of this myself because like, I necessarily don't even really talk like this in person. I'm trying to get better by talking to the camera and being more of my authentic self. But sometimes what happens is I end up presenting myself in a way that I'm looking back at my videos like, do I even really talk like this in person? Not necessarily. So I'm trying to get better at that. But we basically present ourselves depending on who we're around in different masks. But hidden with inside that mask is our shadow self. And our shadow self is essentially the true, the real you actually. It's actually what, why I think, and this kind of sounds like out there, why I think we came to this earth plane. In a spiritual sense, you can think of it as like the ego that has descended onto this plane of reality in this domain in order to become purified. Sort of like the philosopher's stone, you know, in alchemy. When you, when you think about alchemy in a more of an esoteric sense, it's basically turning a base metal, something that's not pure in its purest form, into gold. So you have like the proverbial mad scientist in the basement basically 
metaphorically turning these base metals, which is, has no value, it's not pure, into something that is pure and has value. And that's why I think we descended onto this earth plane in order to basically refine ourselves spiritually and become more of what we were truly meant to be. Now, not all of us are gonna get there and that's quite evident if you look around, not all of us are going to make it through that transformation process. But I think we should strive to at least work towards becoming the best versions of ourselves through the purification process. And the purification process, just like in alchemy, it's gonna hurt, right? Like. When you're trying to purify, let's say, basically anything, you're trying to break it down to its finest components. And in order to even do something like that, what you have to do is heat it up in order to break it down. And that heating up process can be sort of like how we, if we want to get in shape, we go to the gym every day, we eat a certain way, and we keep to that schedule consistently, no matter how we feel. It's not, it doesn't feel the best, it's very uncomfortable, but at the end of the day, when you look back at all of those little actions that were painful, over time, you're heating, in a sense, that kettle, which boils down and refines your true character. And it not only, it's, it's not just about the final result of you becoming this like purified, pure gold person of like who you could potentially be and who you're meant to be, but it's more so the journey itself and what that will make you on the way. So we need to, as a collective, enjoy the process of being uncomfortable, quite frankly, and putting ourselves more so in situations where we have to refine ourselves in the fire. And that's what I kind of want to talk about in this video because every Sunday I come to San Francisco and I work out with my grandpa. So he's not in the best shape right now, but we're trying to get him back into great shape. So I just work on him with like basic leg lifts and squats, uh, stretch him out, and I try to keep his body in shape. But this is someone that for years, and this is what Carl Jung talks about, you know, your shadow self is hidden and it doesn't come out until you're older in life. Now, he didn't necessarily do the work up front to take care of himself when he was younger. So now on the back end, he's like kind of lost a lot of his muscle. He's a little bit shriveled. You know, he gets injured very easily. He's anxious. And it's sort of like, He's taking the reward up front when, when he was young and he kind of didn't prepare for the back end side of refinement. Because this life, will you have to be refined no matter what. You're gonna suffer either through discipline or your body's gonna break down and you're gonna suffer through regret. So it's one or the other, or your mind will suffer because you're just gonna be replaying all the things that you could or could not have done or should have done. So. What I'm trying to tell you guys in this video, and I know this video is going on for a long time and I'm gonna to try to sum it up very quickly, is seeing him in this position now as an older man makes me realize that this shadow self, you better get it out while you're young or you're gonna spend the back half of your life, which is supposed to be your golden years where you're not constantly grinding. You know, you're still gonna be hustling and like doing your thing, but you're supposed to like, you know, ease off the pedal a little bit. Even if you're a hustler since you've been a young guy, the back half of your life is supposed to be money, man. You're supposed to just be enjoying retirement, kind of like visiting places and spending time with your grandchildren, your kids, stuff like that. But instead, you know, just to upkeep and maintain his body that he's kind of taken, uh, hasn't taken full control of and authority over, now he's having to basically piece these puzzles together just to live a normal 70, 80 year old's life. When there's 70, 80 year olds that are way more active, way more alert, uh, don't have to take naps throughout the day, stuff like that. So he's kind of like, he's, he's retired, but in a sense, he still has to work because he didn't put up the, he did the, the front work of like his business and all of that and, and working hard when he was young, but the back half, the other side, the shadow self of refining himself, not just for, you know, the, the rewards that it will bring him in the physical life, but the spiritual rewards of just putting yourself through the fire and improving yourself. So that hidden shadow side of himself that was always there since he was young, that he never got out of his system, it eventually overtook him. And you can see this with older people, especially in politics, if you look, you'll see usually like 
a certain look in their eyes, heaviness in the eyes, bags under their eyes, where they kind of look like there's some sort of entity that's overtaken their body. They sort of look like the Sith Lord from Star Wars, Emperor Palpatine, where he's just like, ah, like freaking leather face and just totally just the life sucked out of him. Now, I'm not saying my grandpa looks like this. Jeez, I hope he doesn't watch this video. No, I'm not saying that, but I'm saying like in general, if you see people that haven't really refined the shadow self that I believe we came here on this in this physical plane to refine, if they haven't gotten that out of themselves, it's gonna show up physically and it's gonna eat away at them and it will come to the surface because there's a reason we came here. <laughs> Whether you believe in a God or you don't believe in a God, there's a reason and a purpose behind everything, even if you just study nature and science itself. Nothing just happens to happen, okay? So I just wanna make this video to let you guys know, you gotta pay the upfront price of refining yourself and doing the work right now. Okay, whether you feel like it, whether you don't feel like it, most of the time, you're not gonna feel like it. I'd say like 95% of the time, you don't feel like it. You don't feel like getting up early. You don't feel like reading at night. You'd rather go on your phone. You don't feel like uh, not watching PORN. I have nothing against fapping necessarily, but watching PORN while doing it can lead to ED and you only getting aroused when you're watching a device instead of being there physical with some physically with somebody else or you're socially awkward now because you've been watching that so much that when you go out in public and you talk to people, they can kind of sense that kind of edginess that that you haven't really necessarily been with someone in a physical way, okay? So you gotta refine yourself. You gotta put yourself through the fire and it's better that you do it than nature does it to you, okay? So I hope this video is encouraging. You guys all have it in you to get this done, to do this and it's really best to start as young and as early as possible to create habits and systems that allow this to just happen naturally without you having to continuously force yourself to get motivated, get inspired, to watch that YouTube video, to w listen to that music, to get you pumped up to do it. It's gotta just come from within you, okay? Yeah, that stuff helps you, especially early on when you're getting started, but what happens if you take those AirPods off and you don't have the motivation to inspire you to do it. There's a lot of days like that. Or when you're waking up at 5 a.m. or 4 a.m. before work to get that workout in or to study or to take that extra course to get an extra credit in something and no one's pressuring you to get up except yourself. You don't have like an AirPod, you don't have David Goggins rolling over in bed like, time to get up out of bed and focus and do this It's just you, it's just you in your own mind, okay? So I love you guys, you can do this. Start with the little small disciplines. We'll talk about these as this channel goes on. We'll talk about a lot of different things that I'm struggling with. This holds me accountable. We'll talk about what that does for me and how it can help you. There's so much I have to share with you guys. I said it before, but I'm here for you guys. This is a community I wanna build and I wanna keep videos like this coming to inspire.